Welcome to Wu English, where we learn English through the captivating stories of history's most remarkable figures. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the life of Benjamin Franklin, a man whose wisdom and inventions have left an indelible mark on the world. Our story is crafted with clear and simple sentences, making it perfect for English learners at a B1 level. As we dive into Franklin's adventures, we encourage you to share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. If you find inspiration and knowledge in our story, please press the like button to reward us. Your support motivates us to continue bringing these enriching tales to life. Now, let's begin our journey with Benjamin Franklin, a true icon of history and a beacon of learning. Chapter 1. The Young Apprentice In the heart of Boston, in a time long ago, lived a young boy named Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin wasn't like other children. Even at a young age, he was curious about the world around him, always asking questions and eager to learn more. He was born into a big family, the 15th of 17 children, but he never got lost in the crowd. His sharp mind and quick wit made him stand out. Benjamin's father was a candle maker, and from him, Benjamin learned the value of hard work and dedication. He would watch his father pour the hot wax, shape the candles, and talk about the importance of lighting up the dark. But Benjamin's heart was set on a different path. He was fascinated by books and the magical worlds they contained. Unfortunately, books were expensive and not easy for a young boy in a large family to come by. Despite this, Benjamin found ways to read. He would borrow books from anyone who would lend them, reading late into the night, the words fueling his dreams and ambitions. His hunger for knowledge was insatiable. He learned about science, history and languages on his own, proving that where there's a will, there's a way. When Benjamin was 12, his father decided it was time for him to learn a trade. Benjamin was apprenticed to his older brother James, who owned a printing shop. This was a turning point in Benjamin's life. The printing shop was a place of wonder for him. He was surrounded by books, newspapers, and the buzz of intellectual conversations. It was here among the ink and paper, that Benjamin's love for writing and ideas flourished. James was a strict teacher, and the work was hard. Benjamin had to wake up early, prepare the ink, set the type, and operate the heavy printing press. It was a demanding job, but Benjamin was not one to shy away from a challenge. He saw it as an opportunity to learn and grow. He would often sneak in his writing between the tasks, crafting articles and essays under a pseudonym since his brother would not allow him to publish under his own name. One day, Benjamin's secret writings were discovered. Instead of anger, they were met with surprise and admiration. James and the readers of the newspaper were impressed by the depth of thought and clarity of expression in such a young writer. This was the beginning of Benjamin's journey as a writer and thinker, a journey that would take him far beyond the walls of the printing shop. But life in the printing shop was not always easy. Benjamin and his brother often disagreed, and the confines of apprenticeship felt increasingly restrictive to Benjamin's free spirit and ambitious mind. He dreamed of independence, of making his own way in the world, and of contributing to society in a meaningful way. So, with a heart full of dreams and a mind brimming with ideas, Benjamin made a decision that would change the course of his life. He left his brother's printing shop and set out on his own. It was a bold move for someone so young, but Benjamin Franklin was no ordinary young man. He was driven by a desire to improve himself and the world around him. As he stepped out into the streets of Boston, a new chapter of his life began, 
a chapter filled with adventures, challenges, and opportunities. Benjamin Franklin, the young apprentice, was on his way to becoming Benjamin Franklin, one of the most remarkable figures in history. His journey from a curious boy in Boston to a leading figure in the American Enlightenment is a testament to the power of curiosity, education, and determination. Benjamin Franklin's story shows us that with enough passion and perseverance, anyone can light up the darkness and make a lasting impact on the world. In the chapters to come, we'll follow Benjamin as he navigates the complexities of life, making discoveries, facing setbacks, and ultimately shaping the destiny of a nation. It's a story of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. A story that continues to inspire to this day. So, let's turn the page and dive into the extraordinary life of Benjamin Franklin, the young apprentice who became a legend. Chapter 2. A Thirst for Knowledge In the bustling streets of Boston, young Benjamin Franklin found himself at a crossroads of curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Unlike many boys his age, Benjamin didn't have the chance to spend much time in school. His family needed him to work, and formal education was a luxury they could hardly afford. But this didn't dampen his spirit. Instead, it ignited a flame within him, a desire to learn that would shape the course of his life. Benjamin had discovered the power of books. In a time when books were rare and precious, he turned every stone to find them. He read whatever he could get his hands on, diving into worlds of history, science and literature. These books were his teachers, his windows to the vast and unknown. They taught him about the world beyond Boston, about the mysteries of nature and the ideas that had shaped civilizations. But how did a young boy with so little money satisfy his hunger for books. Benjamin was resourceful. He used his position at his brother's printing shop to his advantage. The shop was a place of magic for Benjamin, where words came to life and ideas flowed like rivers. He would borrow books from the shop's customers, promising to return them within a week. Night after night, he would stay up late, the candlelight flickering as he turned page after page, absorbing every word, every idea. Benjamin's quest for knowledge wasn't just about reading. He wanted to understand the world, to question and to reason. He practiced writing, mimicking the styles of the authors he admired. He would read an article, put it away, and try to write it from memory comparing his version to the original. This exercise sharpened his mind and refined his ability to express his thoughts. As Benjamin's knowledge grew, so did his reputation among his peers. He started to engage in discussions, sharing his ideas and listening to others. These conversations were more than just talks. They were exchanges of knowledge where Benjamin could test his ideas and learn new perspectives. He realized that knowledge wasn't just about reading books. It was about sharing ideas, challenging one's thoughts, and learning from others. Benjamin's thirst for knowledge also led him to form the Junto Club, a group of like-minded individuals who gathered to discuss philosophical, moral, and scientific topics. This club was a testament to Benjamin's belief in the power of knowledge and community. It was a place where ideas were free to flow, where questions were encouraged, and where learning was a collective journey. Through his relentless pursuit of knowledge, Benjamin Franklin laid the foundation for his future. He didn't just learn from books, he learned from life. He understood that every experience, every conversation and every challenge was an opportunity to learn something new. His thirst for knowledge was more than just a personal quest. It was a path that led him to become one of the most influential figures in American history. 
Benjamin's story is a powerful reminder that education is not just about formal schooling. It's about curiosity, about seeking knowledge in every corner of life, and about never being satisfied with what we know. Benjamin Franklin, with his boundless curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge, shows us that the desire to learn is the most powerful tool we have to shape our destiny. As we turn the page on this chapter of Benjamin's life, we are reminded that his journey was just beginning. His thirst for knowledge was the spark that ignited a lifetime of achievements. It was this love for learning that would guide him through the challenges and triumphs that lay ahead, shaping not only his life, but the very fabric of the world around him. Chapter 3 Breaking Free In the heart of Boston, young Benjamin Franklin felt the weight of the world on his shoulders. Apprenticed to his brother, a printer, Benjamin's days were long and his freedom limited. His love for reading and learning grew, but so did his desire for independence. The more he learned, the more he dreamt of a life beyond the confines of his current world. It was this burning desire for freedom that led him to make a decision that would change his life forever. He would leave Boston and set out for Philadelphia. The decision was not an easy one. Leaving meant saying goodbye to his family, his friends, and everything familiar. But Benjamin's thirst for knowledge and his yearning for freedom were stronger than his fears. He knew that to grow, to truly become the man he envisioned, he needed to break free from the constraints of his apprenticeship and explore new horizons. With little money and only a few possessions, Benjamin embarked on his journey to Philadelphia. The road was long and filled with challenges. Travel in those days was not as it is now. There were no cars or trains, only rough paths and unpredictable waters. Benjamin first tried to secure passage on a ship, but when that failed, he resorted to travelling by foot and occasionally by boat, navigating the complex network of roads and rivers that led to Philadelphia. The journey was arduous and tested Benjamin's resolve. There were days when he was hungry, tired and unsure of his decision. But with each step, he reminded himself of why he had left, to find a place where he could grow, learn and be free. Along the way, Benjamin encountered people from all walks of life. Some were kind and offered him food and shelter, while others were less friendly. Each encounter, however, taught him valuable lessons about people, resilience, and the importance of kindness and gratitude. After many days of travel, Benjamin finally arrived in Philadelphia. He was dirty, tired, and hungry, a stark contrast to the vibrant and bustling city that lay before him. Philadelphia was different from Boston in many ways. It was larger, more diverse, and full of new opportunities. As he walked through the streets, Benjamin felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. Here, in this new city, he had the chance to start anew, to build the life he had dreamt of. His first priority was to find work. With his experience in his brother's printing shop, Benjamin hoped to find employment with a local printer. However, finding a job was not as easy as he had hoped. He visited several shops, but jobs were scarce, and his lack of connections in the city made his search even more challenging. Despite these setbacks, Benjamin did not lose hope. He knew that he had skills and knowledge to offer, and he was determined to prove himself. Finally, after much persistence, Benjamin secured a position with a local printer. The job was not glamorous, and the pay was meagre, but it was a start. More importantly, it was an opportunity for Benjamin to learn and to demonstrate his capabilities. He worked hard, often going above and beyond what was expected of him. His dedication and talent did not go unnoticed, and soon 
he began to make a name for himself in Philadelphia. Benjamin's decision to leave Boston and start a new life in Philadelphia was a turning point in his life. It was a journey filled with challenges, but it was also a journey of self-discovery. Through his experiences, Benjamin learned the importance of perseverance, resilience, and the power of taking risks. He realized that breaking free from the constraints of his past was not just about seeking new opportunities, it was about creating them. As we close this chapter on Benjamin Franklin's early adventures, we are reminded of the courage it takes to follow one's dreams. Benjamin's journey from Boston to Philadelphia is not just a story of physical travel. It's a testament to the journey within, to the discovery of one's own strength and potential. It's a story that inspires us to take bold steps, to embrace the unknown, and to forge our own paths to freedom and fulfillment. Chapter 4. A New Beginning in Philadelphia As the sun rose over the city of Philadelphia, a young Benjamin Franklin took his first steps into a new chapter of his life. After a long and challenging journey from Boston, he arrived with little more than the clothes on his back and a heart full of ambition. Philadelphia was a bustling city, full of opportunities and challenges, and Benjamin was ready to make his mark. His first challenge was to find work. Despite his skills and experience in the printing business, finding a job was not easy. Benjamin walked from one print shop to another, but everywhere he went, he was met with the same response. No work available. It was a disheartening start, but Benjamin did not lose hope. He believed in his abilities and was determined to succeed. Finally, his persistence paid off. A printer named Andrew Bradford offered him a place to stay and some work, although it was not enough to keep him busy. But Benjamin was not the kind to sit idle. He used his free time to explore the city, to meet new people, and to look for more opportunities. It was during one of these explorations that Benjamin met a man who would change his fortunes. This man, seeing Benjamin's determination and talent, recommended him to another printer in town, a Mr. Keimer, who was in need of a skilled assistant. Benjamin seized this opportunity with both hands. Working for Mr. Keimer, he quickly proved his worth, showcasing his skills and dedication. His reputation as a hard-working and capable young man began to grow. But Benjamin's ambitions went beyond just working for others. He dreamed of running his own printing business. He knew it would not be easy, but he was ready to face the challenges. He started to save money to learn about the business, and to make plans for the future. Philadelphia was not just a place of work for Benjamin. It was here that he began to lay down the foundations for his future. He continued to educate himself, reading every book he could get his hands on. He also started to build his network, meeting people who would later play significant roles in his life and in the history of America. One of the most significant steps Benjamin took during this time was the establishment of a discussion group called the Junto. This group, made up of young men interested in improving themselves and their community, met regularly to discuss topics of mutual interest. Through the Junto, Benjamin not only found a platform for his ideas, but also a support system that would help him in his future endeavours. Benjamin's early days in Philadelphia were not without their challenges. He faced financial difficulties, competition, and the struggle of establishing himself in a new city. But through hard work, determination, and a relentless pursuit of his goals, he overcame these obstacles. His efforts led to new opportunities in the printing business, and he slowly but surely began to make a name for himself. This chapter of Benjamin Franklin's life is a testament to the power of perseverance, hard work, 
and the courage to embrace new beginnings. Arriving in Philadelphia with nothing, Benjamin transformed his fortunes through sheer determination and a willingness to seize every opportunity that came his way. As we reflect on Benjamin's journey, we are reminded that the road to success is often paved with challenges. But it is how we face these challenges that define us. Benjamin Franklin's story is a powerful example of how resilience, hard work, and a never-give-up attitude can lead to remarkable achievements. His new beginning in Philadelphia was just the start of a journey that would see him become one of the most influential figures in American history. Chapter 5 The Junto Club In the heart of Philadelphia, Benjamin Franklin embarked on a new venture, one that would leave a lasting mark not only on his life, but also on the community around him. With a mind always buzzing with ideas, and a spirit fueled by the love of knowledge, Benjamin saw the need for a space where like-minded individuals could come together, share ideas, and learn from each other. Thus, the Junto Club was born, a gathering of young men united by their desire for self-improvement and intellectual growth. The Junto Club was more than just a group of friends meeting to talk. It was a carefully selected assembly of individuals from various walks of life, each bringing their own perspectives and knowledge to the table. They met every Friday evening in a small room lit by the warm glow of candles, where the hustle and bustle of Philadelphia seemed a world away. Here, in this haven of thought and discussion, they explored a wide range of topics, from philosophy and science to politics and ethics, Benjamin's vision for the Junto Club was clear. He wanted it to be a place where questions could be asked, debates could be held, and knowledge could be shared freely. Each member was encouraged to bring forth topics for discussion, to express their thoughts openly, and to listen with an open mind. The rules were simple. Respect each other's opinions, seek the truth, and strive for personal and communal improvement. The impact of the Junto Club on Benjamin's life was profound. It provided him with a platform to refine his ideas, to enhance his knowledge, and to develop his skills in debate and rhetoric. The discussions challenged him, pushing him to think deeper and to broaden his understanding of the world. The club also fostered a sense of camaraderie and support among its members creating a network of friends and allies that Benjamin could rely on. But the influence of the Shunto Club extended beyond its members. It played a pivotal role in the social and intellectual life of Philadelphia. The club initiated projects for the betterment of the community, such as the creation of a public library, the establishment of a fire brigade, and the improvement of public education. These initiatives were not just beneficial to the city's residents. They were revolutionary, setting a precedent for civic responsibility and communal effort. The Junto Club also served as a breeding ground for future leaders. Many of its members went on to play significant roles in the American Revolution and the formation of the new nation. The club, with its emphasis on free speech, critical thinking, and civic engagement, helped to shape the intellectual landscape of the emerging American society. Benjamin Franklin's creation of the Junto Club is a testament to his belief in the power of dialogue, education, and community action. It highlights his role not just as a thinker and inventor, but as a community leader and a catalyst for change. The club's legacy is a reminder of the impact a small group of dedicated individuals can have on their community and beyond. As we reflect on the story of the Junto Club, we are inspired by its principles of lifelong learning, mutual respect and collective effort. It encourages us to seek out our own communities of discussion and improvement, to share our ideas and to listen to others, and to work together for the betterment of our communities.
Benjamin Franklin's Junto Club, with its humble beginnings in a candlelit room in Philadelphia, shows us the enduring power of ideas and the importance of coming together in the pursuit of knowledge and progress. Chapter 6. Ambitious Plans As Benjamin Franklin's reputation in Philadelphia grew, so did his ambitions. He wasn't content with just making a name for himself. He wanted to make a difference, both in his business and in society. With a mind always buzzing with ideas, Benjamin began to lay out ambitious plans for his future. This chapter tells the story of how he turned those plans into reality, showing the same determination and ingenuity that had brought him to Philadelphia in the first place. Benjamin knew that to achieve his goals, he needed to improve his printing business first. He worked tirelessly, often from dawn till dusk, to make his print shop one of the best in the city. He introduced new printing techniques and expanded his services. But Benjamin was not just focused on the technical aspects of his business. He also understood the importance of trust and reputation. He treated his customers with respect and fairness, which in turn brought him more business and loyal clients. However, Benjamin's ambitions went beyond the success of his print shop. He saw himself as a part of the larger community of Philadelphia, and he wanted to contribute to its welfare. One of his first major contributions was the establishment of the first public library in America. Benjamin believed that knowledge should be accessible to everyone, not just the wealthy. The library was a huge success and became a model for others across the country. But he didn't stop there. Benjamin was deeply concerned about public safety and welfare. He organized the first volunteer fire company and introduced street lighting to Philadelphia, making the city safer and more livable. He also had a keen interest in education and played a key role in establishing an academy that would later become the University of Pennsylvania. Benjamin's plans also included scientific pursuits. His curiosity about the world around him led to experiments with electricity, which were groundbreaking at the time. His invention of the lightning rod not only demonstrated his scientific genius, but also had a practical application, protecting buildings from lightning damage. Throughout all these endeavors, Benjamin faced challenges and obstacles. Not everyone agreed with his ideas or supported his projects. He had to navigate political rivalries and overcome financial hurdles. But Benjamin's determination and his ability to persuade and inspire others helped him to push through these challenges. He was a master of negotiation and diplomacy, skills that served him well in both his business and his public service. Benjamin's ambitious plans and their successful execution had a profound impact on Philadelphia and on American society as a whole. He showed that with hard work, determination, and a commitment to the public good, it was possible to make significant changes. His contributions to the fields of business, science, public safety, and education left a lasting legacy. Chapter 7 Innovations and Discoveries In the heart of a burgeoning America, Benjamin Franklin, already well known for his contributions to society and his printing business, turned his boundless curiosity towards the mysteries of science. This chapter delves into a period of Benjamin's life where his innovative spirit and passion for discovery led to groundbreaking experiments with electricity and other remarkable achievements that would leave an indelible mark on the world. Benjamin's journey into the realm of scientific exploration was driven by his fascination with electricity, a mysterious force that had captivated the minds of many in the 18th century. Unlike others who feared electricity's unknown powers, Benjamin saw it as a puzzle to be solved, a challenge to be met. With a keen mind and a homemade set of electrical equipment, he began a series of daring experiments that would eventually lead to one of his most famous inventions, the lightning rod. His most iconic experiment involved a kite 
a key, and a stormy sky. Benjamin had the bold idea to prove that lightning and electricity were the same. One stormy day, he flew a kite with a metal key attached to the string into a thundercloud. When Sparks jumped from the key to his hand, he proved his theory, showing the world that lightning was indeed electrical. This experiment was not only a triumph of scientific inquiry, but also a demonstration of Benjamin's bravery and ingenuity. From this groundbreaking discovery, Benjamin invented the lightning rod, a simple yet effective device that protected buildings from the destructive force of lightning by directing it safely into the ground. This invention not only savored countless structures and lives, but also demonstrated the practical applications of scientific research. It was a testament to Benjamin's belief that science should serve the public good. But Benjamin's contributions to science and innovation did not stop with electricity. He turned his attention to a variety of other subjects, from ocean currents to the efficiency of heating stoves. He charted the Gulf Stream, the warm Atlantic Ocean current, helping to improve the speed and safety of maritime travel. His invention of the Franklin stove, a more efficient heat source that used less wood and distributed heat more evenly, showcased his knack for practical problem solving and his concern for resource conservation. Throughout all these endeavors, Benjamin's approach to science was guided by a philosophy of observation, experimentation, and application. He believed that by understanding the laws of nature, humans could harness them for the betterment of society. His work was characterized by a spirit of inquiry and a dedication to improving everyday life. Benjamin's innovations and discoveries had a profound impact not only on the field of science, but also on the society of his time and generations to come. His experiments with electricity opened the door to countless advancements in electrical engineering and physics. The lightning rod became a symbol of human ingenuity's ability to protect itself from the forces of nature. Chapter 8. The Art of Diplomacy As Benjamin Franklin's reputation as a thinker and innovator grew, so did his involvement in the world beyond the realms of science and printing. The bustling streets of Philadelphia and the growing tension between the American colonies and Britain provided a new stage for Benjamin to showcase another set of skills, diplomacy. This chapter unfolds the story of how Benjamin, with his sharp mind and keen understanding of human nature, became a master of negotiation and conflict resolution, playing a crucial role in local politics and community building. Benjamin's journey into diplomacy started with his deep involvement in community affairs. He had always believed that for a community to thrive, its members needed to work together, respecting each other's opinions and finding common ground. His work with the Honto Club and various civic projects had already demonstrated his ability to bring people together for a common cause. Now, as tensions began to rise within the colonies and with the British government, Benjamin saw the need for these skills on a larger scale. His first significant test as a diplomat came with his efforts to unify the colonies. The American colonies were like siblings, each with its own identity and interests, often at odds with one another. Benjamin believed that for the colonies to stand up to British policies that they found unfair, they needed to present a united front. He proposed the Albany Plan of Union, a plan to create a unified government for the colonies. While the plan was ultimately not adopted, it was a pioneering vision of colonial unity and showcased Benjamin's foresight and commitment to collective action. Benjamin's diplomatic skills were not just about grand visions, they were also evident in the way he handled day-to-day -day politics and negotiations. He had a remarkable ability to listen, to understand the needs and desires of different parties, 
and to find solutions that were acceptable to all. This skill made him an invaluable mediator in disputes, whether they were between different colonial factions or between the colonists and the British authorities. As Benjamin's diplomatic efforts continued, he was sent to England to represent the interests of the Pennsylvania Assembly and later the collective American colonies. In London, he found himself in a complex and often hostile environment. He was surrounded by powerful men who viewed the American colonies with suspicion and disdain. Yet, Benjamin navigated these waters with grace and intelligence. He used his wit, his knowledge and his charm to advocate for the rights of the colonies, to explain their grievances and to seek a peaceful resolution to the growing conflicts. Benjamin's time in England also allowed him to build important relationships, to gather information, and to influence public opinion. He wrote articles for newspapers, spoke at public events, and engaged in endless discussions with politicians and thinkers. Through these efforts, he worked tirelessly to bridge the gap between the colonies and Britain, always with the hope that reconciliation was possible. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Benjamin's diplomacy was his unwavering commitment to the principles of fairness, freedom and justice. He understood the power of compromise and negotiation, but he also knew when to stand firm. His diplomatic work was driven by a deep belief in the rights of the colonies and the potential for a fair and equitable relationship with Britain. This chapter in Benjamin Franklin's life teaches us the importance of diplomacy in building communities, resolving conflicts, and bridging divides. It shows how Benjamin's skills in negotiation and conflict resolution were not just about achieving political goals, but were also about creating a more just and cooperative society. Through his diplomatic efforts, Benjamin Franklin left a lasting legacy not just as a statesman and a patriot, but as a master of the art of diplomacy. Chapter 9. The Voice of Reason As the clouds of unrest gathered over the American colonies, casting long shadows of discord between them and Britain, Benjamin Franklin emerged as a beacon of wisdom and moderation. In a time when voices on both sides clamoured for action, sometimes even for conflict, Benjamin stood firm as a voice of reason. This chapter delves into how, through his writings and diplomatic efforts, he sought to illuminate the path to understanding and fairness, striving to avert the looming crisis. Benjamin's pen became his most powerful tool in this critical period. He wrote extensively, aiming to enlighten both the colonists and the British about the complexities of their relationship. His essays and letters were not just words. They were bridges of understanding, carefully constructed to connect disparate viewpoints. Benjamin had a unique ability to clarify the most intricate issues, making them accessible to everyone. He believed that if people could truly understand each other's positions, they could find a way to resolve their differences without resorting to violence. In his writings, Benjamin argued passionately for fairness. He highlighted the injustices of the British policies towards the colonies, such as the Stamp Act and the Townshend Acts, which imposed taxes on the colonies without their consent. But he did so in a manner that appealed to reason rather than inciting anger. He used logic, humour and even satire to make his points, encouraging his readers to think critically about the situation. Benjamin's efforts to prevent conflict were not confined to his writings. He engaged in countless discussions, negotiations and diplomatic missions, tirelessly working to bridge the gap between the colonies and Britain. He met with British officials, presenting the American case with eloquence and earnestness. He sought to make them see the colonies not as rebellious subjects to be subdued, but as partners deserving of respect and fair treatment. Despite his deep love for the British Empire, 
and his sincere desire for reconciliation, Benjamin's appeals for fairness were often met with indifference or outright hostility by the British authorities. Yet he did not despair. He continued to advocate for the rights of the colonies, believing that reason and common sense would eventually prevail. Benjamin's role as a voice of reason in these turbulent times was not an easy one. He faced criticism from those who felt he was too conciliatory towards the British, and scepticism from those who doubted the colony's grievances. But he remained steadfast in his conviction that dialogue and understanding were the keys to resolving the conflict. This chapter of Benjamin Franklin's life showcases the power of reason and the importance of seeking understanding and fairness, even in the face of adversity. It reminds us that words, when wielded with wisdom and compassion, can be a force for change. Benjamin's legacy as a voice of reason in a time of turmoil is a testament to his belief in the power of communication and his unwavering commitment to the principles of justice and equity. Through his writings and his diplomatic efforts, Benjamin Franklin not only contributed to the American cause, but also left us with an enduring lesson on the importance of striving for understanding and fairness in all our endeavours. His example inspires us to approach conflicts with an open mind and a heart guided by reason, reminding us that even in the darkest of times, dialogue and empathy can light the way to resolution and peace. Chapter 10. A Mission Overseas In a bold move that would mark one of the most significant chapters of his life, Benjamin Franklin crossed the vast Atlantic Ocean to England. His mission was of the utmost importance, to represent the American colonies and advocate for their interests amidst growing tensions. This chapter follows Benjamin's journey overseas where his diplomatic skills were put to the test as he sought to bridge the differences between two worlds on the brink of change. Upon arriving in England, Benjamin found himself in a land teeming with history and tradition. The streets of London, alive with the hustle and bustle of city life, were a far cry from the quieter life he knew in Philadelphia. Yet Benjamin was not daunted. He was determined to make the most of his mission armed with his sharp intellect, persuasive eloquence, and an unwavering commitment to the American cause. Benjamin's task was not an easy one. He was to navigate the complex web of British politics, to make the case for the American colonies at a time when the notion of colonial rights was met with scepticism, if not outright hostility. He attended meetings, engaged in debates, and wrote extensively, laying out the grievances of the colonies and proposing solutions that he hoped would prevent an all-out conflict. One of Benjamin's greatest strengths was his ability to communicate complex ideas in a way that was both clear and compelling. He used this skill to great effect in England, whether he was speaking in the halls of power or writing for a British audience. His writings during this period were masterful examples of diplomacy and persuasion as he sought to explain the American perspective and to highlight the mutual benefits of a fair and just relationship between the colonies and the crown. Despite the challenges he faced, Benjamin's time in England was not without its rewards. He met with some of the leading thinkers of his day, engaging in rich discussions that broadened his horizons and deepened his understanding of the world. He visited historical sites, immersed himself in British culture, and even indulged in his love of science and innovation by attending experiments and lectures. Yet as the divide between the American colonies and Britain deepened, Benjamin's mission grew increasingly difficult. The Stamp Act, the Townshend Acts, and other measures imposed by the British government fueled anger and resentment in the colonies, making Benjamin's efforts to find a peaceful resolution more urgent than ever. Through it all, 
Benjamin remained a steadfast advocate for the American cause. He worked tirelessly, using every tool at his disposal to advocate for the rights of the colonies. He faced setbacks and disappointments, but he never lost sight of his belief in the power of dialogue and the importance of standing up for what was just and fair. Benjamin's mission overseas is a testament to his dedication to the American cause and his skill as a diplomat. It highlights the challenges of representing a divided nation on the international stage and the importance of persistence and courage in the face of adversity. Through his experiences abroad, Benjamin not only contributed to the American struggle for independence, but also gained insights and experiences that would shape the rest of his life. As we close this chapter on Benjamin Franklin's mission overseas, we are reminded of the complexities of diplomacy and the vital role that understanding and communication play in resolving conflicts. Benjamin's journey across the Atlantic was more than just a diplomatic mission. It was a chapter in a larger story of a man who dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge, freedom and justice. Chapter 11. The Call for Independence. As the winds of change swept through the American colonies, the call for independence grew louder and more insistent. In this pivotal moment in history, Benjamin Franklin emerged as a key figure, steering the course of events with his wisdom, diplomacy, and unwavering commitment to freedom. This chapter delves into Benjamin's instrumental role in the American Revolution, highlighting his contributions to the burgeoning cause of independence. The journey to independence was fraught with challenges and uncertainties. The colonies, united in their grievances against British rule, sought to assert their rights and freedoms. At the heart of this tumultuous period, Benjamin Franklin stood as a beacon of reason and leadership. His extensive experience in diplomacy, his deep understanding of politics, and his profound belief in the principles of liberty and justice made him an invaluable asset to the cause. Benjamin's involvement in the push for independence was multifaceted. He was not only a voice of reason in the debates and discussions that shaped the movement, but also an active participant in the drafting of key documents that would lay the foundation for the new nation. One of his most significant contributions was his role in the drafting of the Declaration of Independence. Working alongside other founding fathers, Benjamin lent his pen, his wisdom and his vision to the creation of this historic document, which eloquently articulated the colony's right to self-governance and their reasons for severing ties with Britain. But Benjamin's contributions extended beyond the written word. He understood that the quest for independence would require not just ideological commitment, but also practical support. He leveraged his connections and his reputation to garner international support for the American cause. His diplomatic missions, particularly to France, were critical in securing vital alliances and financial assistance. Benjamin's charm, intellect and persuasive power made him a beloved figure abroad, and he successfully negotiated treaties and agreements that bolstered the colony's chances in their struggle against the British. Moreover, Benjamin's ability to communicate complex ideas in a clear and compelling manner was instrumental in rallying support for independence among the colony's diverse populations. He used his writings, speeches and personal influence to inspire unity and resilience among the colonists, emphasising the importance of freedom and the collective good. His publications, filled with wisdom and wit, reached a wide audience, shaping public opinion and strengthening the resolve for independence. Despite the challenges and risks involved, Benjamin's dedication to the cause of independence never wavered. He faced personal sacrifices and endured immense pressure, but his commitment to the principles of liberty, equality and justice remained steadfast. His leadership, both in the public eye and behind the scenes, 
helped guide the colonies through one of the most tumultuous and transformative periods in their history. As the American Revolution unfolded, Benjamin Franklin's role as a statesman, diplomat and visionary leader became ever more apparent. He was not just a participant in the events leading up to independence. He was one of its architects, shaping the course of history with his intellect, his courage, and his unwavering belief in the potential of a free and independent nation. This chapter in Benjamin Franklin's life story is a testament to the power of conviction, the importance of leadership, and the enduring value of fighting for what is right. It reminds us that the path to freedom is often long and difficult, but with determination, unity, and wise leadership, even the most formidable challenges can be overcome. Benjamin's contributions to the American Revolution leave a lasting legacy, inspiring future generations to cherish and defend the ideals of liberty and justice for all. Chapter 12. Crafting a Nation in the wake of the American Revolution, the fledgling United States faced the monumental task of building a nation from the ground up. At the forefront of this daunting endeavor stood Benjamin Franklin, whose profound wisdom and extensive experience made him a pivotal figure in shaping the new country. This chapter delves into Benjamin's critical role in drafting the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, two documents that would become the bedrock of American democracy. As the colonies emerged victorious from the struggle for independence, the need for a unifying document that articulated the ideals and principles of the new nation became paramount. The Declaration of Independence was to be this document, a bold proclamation of freedom and self-governance. Benjamin, with his deep commitment to liberty and justice, was among the select group tasked with drafting this historic manuscript. His contributions, were not merely in the elegance of phrasing, but in the depth of thought, ensuring that the Declaration reflected the collective aspirations of the American people for equality, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Benjamin's influence extended beyond the crafting of eloquent prose. He was a voice of moderation and unity, often mediating differences among his colleagues and advocating for compromises that served the greater good. His diplomatic skills, honed through years of negotiations and discussions, were invaluable in reaching consensus on the Declaration's content. His ability to see the bigger picture, to understand the implications of words and actions, helped guide the drafting process toward a document that was both revolutionary and inclusive. The adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776, marked a turning point in history. But the work of building a nation was far from over. The United States needed a strong framework of governance that balanced the ideals of freedom with the practicalities of running a country. Once again, Benjamin's expertise was called upon, this time in the drafting of the Constitution. The Constitutional Convention of 1787 brought together some of the brightest minds in the country, including Benjamin, who was by then the oldest delegate. Despite his advanced age, Benjamin's contributions to the Constitutional Convention were profound. He advocated for a federal government that respected the sovereignty of individual states while maintaining the authority to govern effectively. He understood the dangers of tyranny having witnessed the colony's struggles under British rule, and he was equally wary of the chaos that could arise from too weak a central government. His advocacy for a system of checks and balances was a testament to his foresight and his understanding of human nature and political power. Benjamin's role at the convention was not limited to his contributions to the debates and the drafting of the Constitution. He was also a unifying presence a respected elder statesman whose commitment to the American experiment inspired his fellow delegates. His calls for compromise and cooperation helped to bridge divides and to forge a constitution that, 
while not perfect, provided a strong foundation for the fledgling nation. The Constitution's signing on September 17, 1787, represented a collective achievement. But Benjamin Franklin's influence on this foundational document cannot be overstated. His wisdom, his vision, and his unwavering belief in the principles of democracy and self-governance helped to shape the United States into a nation built on the ideals of liberty, equality, and the rule of law. This chapter in Benjamin Franklin's life story highlights his indispensable role in the birth of the United States. It showcases his contributions, not just as a draftsman of documents, but as a visionary thinker who understood the complexities of human society and governance. Through his work on the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, Benjamin Franklin helped to craft a nation that, despite its flaws and challenges, was committed to the ideals of freedom and democracy. His legacy is woven into the very fabric of America, a testament to his intellect, his heart, and his indomitable spirit. Chapter 13 Ambassador to France After the United States declared its independence, the young nation faced the daunting challenge of winning the Revolutionary War against the powerful British Empire. In one of the most pivotal roles of his life, Benjamin Franklin was dispatched to France, tasked with winning support for the American cause. His mission was fraught with uncertainty, but Benjamin's diplomatic skills and personal charm were about to turn the tide in favour of the fledgling nation. Upon arriving in France, Benjamin found a country fascinated by the American fight for independence. His reputation as a scientist, philosopher and statesman preceded him, and he was welcomed with open arms by the French intellectuals and the political elite. Yet the task at hand was far from easy. France was cautious about openly supporting the American colonies against Britain, a long-standing rival, but also a powerful force on the global stage. Benjamin's approach was both subtle and strategic. He didn't immediately press for military aid or financial support. Instead, he set about building relationships, leveraging his celebrity status, and engaging in conversations that sowed the seeds of support for the American Revolution. His ability to mix with people from all walks of life, from the highest ranks of French nobility to the common citizens, endeared him to the French public, and gradually to its leaders. One of Benjamin's most significant challenges was negotiating the intricacies of French politics. He had to convince King Louis the Sixteenth and his ministers that supporting the American Revolution was in France's best interest. This required not just diplomatic skill, but a deep understanding of French interests and how they could align with those of the United States. Benjamin's years of experience in politics and diplomacy, combined with his keen intellect and persuasive charm, made him the perfect envoy for this delicate mission. The turning point came when news of the American victory at Saratoga reached France. Benjamin used this victory as proof of the viability of the American military effort and the potential for a complete break from British rule. His negotiations finally bore fruit when, in 1778, France signed a Treaty of Alliance with the United States. This treaty was a monumental achievement, providing the Americans with crucial military support and financial aid that would prove decisive in the war for independence. But Benjamin's mission in France was not without its difficulties. He faced scepticism from some French officials, challenges in coordinating military efforts, and the personal toll of being far from home. Despite these challenges, his unwavering commitment to the American cause and his ability to navigate the complex landscape of international diplomacy were instrumental in securing French support for the revolution. Benjamin Franklin's tenure as ambassador to France 
is a testament to the power of diplomacy, intellect, and personal charisma. His achievements in France not only helped to secure the independence of the United States, but also cemented his legacy as one of the most influential American statesmen on the international stage. Through his efforts, Benjamin demonstrated that diplomacy, when conducted with skill and sincerity, can change the course of history. As we reflect on Benjamin's mission in France, we are reminded of the importance of building bridges between nations and cultures. His success in securing French support for the American Revolution shows how mutual respect, understanding and shared goals can lead to fruitful alliances and enduring friendships. Benjamin Franklin's story in France is a powerful example of how diplomacy, determination and a genuine connection with people can achieve remarkable outcomes, even in the most challenging circumstances. Chapter 14. The Final Years As Benjamin Franklin's remarkable journey abroad came to an end, he returned to America, his heart brimming with hope and his mind ablaze with ideas for the young nation's future. His final years were not a retreat into tranquility, but a continuation of his lifelong commitment to public service, unity and education. This chapter explores the enduring impact of Benjamin's efforts to improve Philadelphia and his profound reflections on life, which continue to inspire generations. Back on American soil, Benjamin observed a nation in the throes of transformation, grappling with its newfound independence and the challenges of governance. Drawing from his vast experience and the wisdom acquired over years of public service, he turned his attention to the betterment of society, focusing on two pillars he believed were fundamental to the nation's prosperity, unity and education. Benjamin was deeply concerned with the political fractures that threatened the unity of the American states. He advocated for a spirit of compromise and cooperation, drawing on the same principles of diplomacy and conciliation that had guided him in France. Through his writings and participation in political discourse, he emphasized the importance of setting aside regional and partisan differences for the greater good of the country. His vision was of a united America, where diversity of thought and background was seen not as a source of division, but as a strength to be celebrated. Education was another cornerstone of Benjamin's vision for America's future. He believed that an informed citizenry was the bulwark of a healthy democracy. To this end, he continued his efforts to promote education in Philadelphia and beyond. His legacy in this realm was already well established, having founded the academy that would become the University of Pennsylvania. Yet, his commitment to education extended beyond the establishment of institutions. He advocated for the importance of practical learning and the development of character, values that he saw as essential to the formation of virtuous and productive citizens. In his final years, Benjamin also dedicated himself to various civic projects aimed at improving the quality of life in Philadelphia. He was involved in initiatives to pave and light the city's streets, to organize a city militia for its defense, and to promote public health through the establishment of a hospital. Each of these projects reflected his belief in the power of collective action for the public good, a principle that had guided much of his life's work. Amidst these endeavors, Benjamin found time to reflect on his own life and the lessons he had learned. His autobiography, though unfinished, offers a window into the mind of one of America's most influential founding fathers. It is a narrative not just of his achievements, but of his thoughts on virtue, self-improvement, and the pursuit of happiness. Through his writings, Benjamin hoped to leave behind a blueprint for living a meaningful and productive life, one that balanced ambition with humility and public service with personal fulfillment. Benjamin Franklin's final years were a testament to his unwavering dedication to the ideals he held dear. 
He remained active in public life until his death in 1790, leaving behind a legacy that extended far beyond his contributions as a scientist, diplomat and statesman. His efforts to promote unity, education and civic responsibility laid the foundations for the values that would continue to shape the American identity. As we close this chapter on Benjamin Franklin's life, we are reminded of the enduring relevance of his teachings. His belief in the power of education, his commitment to the public good, and his reflections on life's virtues continue to inspire and guide us. Benjamin's final years were a fitting culmination to a life lived in the service of others, a life that, through its myriad accomplishments and enduring wisdom, continues to light the way for future generations. In the twilight of his years, Benjamin Franklin not only solidified his legacy as one of America's most influential figures, but also as a beacon of hope, unity, and the transformative power of education. His final contributions, from civic improvements to the profound insights shared in his writings, underscored a life dedicated to the betterment of society and the pursuit of knowledge. Through his actions and words, Benjamin Franklin imparted a message of optimism and responsibility to the future stewards of America. He envisioned a nation where individuals, empowered by education and united in purpose, could achieve great things. His work in Philadelphia, his diplomatic triumphs, and his reflective writings all converged in these final years, painting a picture of a man whose life's work was driven by a deep love for humanity and a steadfast belief in its potential. In reflecting on Benjamin Franklin's final years, we are invited to consider our own contributions to the world we inhabit. His life challenges us to ask how we, too, can foster unity, promote education, and engage in our communities for the common good. Benjamin Franklin's story, from his humble beginnings to his impactful final years, serves as a timeless reminder of the difference one person can make when guided by principles of kindness, wisdom, and an unwavering commitment to improvement both personal and societal. As this chapter, and with it, our exploration of Benjamin Franklin's life draws to a close, we are left with a sense of gratitude for the legacy he has left us. His achievements across the realms of science, politics and education are monumental. Yet it is perhaps his personal philosophy, his approach to life and learning, that remains his most enduring contribution. In Benjamin Franklin, we find a model for how to live a life that is not only successful, but also meaningful and enriching to the world. Chapter 15. The Legacy of a Thinker As we turn the pages of history to reflect on the life and times of Benjamin Franklin, we uncover a legacy so vast and varied that it touches every corner of American life and beyond. This chapter delves into the enduring impact of a thinker whose contributions transcended the realms of science, politics and society, cementing his place as one of the most influential figures in history. In science, Benjamin Franklin's curiosity and innovative spirit led to discoveries and inventions that changed the way we understand the world. His experiments with electricity, culminating in the invention of the lightning rod, not only provided a practical solution to a common problem, but also laid the groundwork for the future study of electrical phenomena. His investigations into the nature of heat and the invention of the Franklin stove offered improvements in home heating that are still appreciated today. Franklin's scientific legacy is one of a pioneering spirit that sought to harness the powers of nature for the benefit of humanity. In the political arena, Franklin's contributions were no less significant. As one of the founding fathers of the United States, his vision and diplomacy were instrumental in the birth of a nation. 
His role in drafting the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution helped to shape the democratic principles that underpin American government and society. Beyond the shores of America, his diplomatic efforts in France were crucial in securing the support that led to American independence. Franklin's political legacy is one of wisdom, pragmatism, and an unwavering commitment to the ideals of liberty and justice. But perhaps the most profound aspect of Franklin's legacy lies in his contributions to society. Through his actions and writings, he exemplified the virtues of thrift, hard work, and self-improvement. He founded institutions such as the University of Pennsylvania and the Philadelphia Public Library System, demonstrating his belief in education and knowledge as pillars of a prosperous and enlightened society. His efforts to improve urban life in Philadelphia, from street lighting to the establishment of a fire department, reflected his dedication to civic responsibility and communal welfare. Franklin's legacy also extends into the cultural fabric of America. His wit and wisdom, captured in the pages of Poor Richard's Almanac, continue to inspire and entertain. His autobiography offers not just a glimpse into his remarkable life, but serves as a guide to personal development and ethical living. Franklin's life story is a testament to the power of individual initiative and the impact one person can have on the world. As we contemplate the legacy of Benjamin Franklin, we are reminded of the indelible mark he left on every field he touched. His contributions to science, politics and society were driven by a deep desire to understand the world and to make it a better place. Franklin's legacy is not just in the institutions he founded, the discoveries he made, or the nation he helped to build. It is in the enduring values he championed. Curiosity, innovation, public service, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. In closing this chapter on Benjamin Franklin, we are inspired by the breadth of his intellect and the depth of his humanity. His life challenges us to think more broadly, act more boldly, and strive more earnestly to improve ourselves and our world. Franklin's legacy is a beacon that continues to light the way forward, reminding us that the power to effect change lies within each of us, waiting to be unleashed. Chapter 16. A Life Well Lived. As we reach the end of our journey through the life of Benjamin Franklin, we pause to reflect on the story of a man whose life was as rich and multifaceted as the era in which he lived. From his humble beginnings as a curious child in Boston, to his final days as a revered statesman, inventor and thinker, Benjamin Franklin's life was indeed well lived. This concluding chapter celebrates the remarkable achievements of a man who left an indelible mark on history, embodying the spirit of innovation, wisdom, and perseverance. Born into a modest family, Benjamin's thirst for knowledge was evident from an early age. His early years were marked by an insatiable curiosity and a voracious appetite for reading, which laid the foundation for a lifetime of learning and discovery. Despite limited formal education, Benjamin's self-taught expertise and natural intellect propelled him from the print shops of Philadelphia to the forefront of the Enlightenment. As an inventor, Franklin's contributions were both practical and profound. His experiments with electricity, culminating in the invention of the lightning rod, not only safeguarded communities from natural disasters, but also advanced humanity's understanding of the natural world. The Franklin stove, bifocal glasses, and his studies on ocean currents demonstrated his relentless pursuit of solutions to everyday challenges and mysteries of the universe. Benjamin Franklin's impact on politics and society was equally significant. As a founding father of the United States, he was instrumental in shaping the nation's founding principles and its early diplomacy. His role in drafting the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution 
helped to lay the groundwork for a government based on liberty, democracy, and the pursuit of happiness. His diplomatic missions, especially in France, were crucial in securing the alliances and support that led to American independence. Yet, Franklin's legacy extends beyond his public achievements. He was a pioneer in advocating for civic improvement, public education, and social welfare. His efforts to establish libraries, hospitals, and educational institutions reflected his belief in the power of knowledge and community service to transform society. His writings, filled with wit and wisdom, continue to inspire and guide readers on the virtues of hard work, frugality, and ethical living. As we close the story of Benjamin Franklin's life, we are reminded of the timeless lessons his journey offers. His life is a testament to the idea that curiosity, combined with diligence and a commitment to the greater good, can lead to extraordinary achievements. Franklin's legacy teaches us that with passion and perseverance, individuals can make a lasting impact on their world. Benjamin Franklin's story is not just a chronicle of historical events, it is a narrative that resonates with the aspirations and challenges of every era. It encourages us to question, to explore, and to strive for a better world. As we reflect on Franklin's life well lived, we are inspired to embark on our own journeys of discovery, guided by the same spirit of inquiry and dedication that defined his remarkable life. In the panorama of history, Benjamin Franklin stands as a beacon of human potential. His legacy is a reminder that one person's contributions can indeed change the course of history. As we turn the final page of this chapter, we carry forward the lessons of his life, embracing the possibilities that lie within each of us to innovate, to lead, and to live a life of purpose and impact. Benjamin Franklin's journey, from a curious child to a luminary of his time, is a celebration of a life well lived, a life that continues to inspire and enlighten us across the ages. And so, we come to the end of our journey with Benjamin Franklin, a figure whose life story intertwines the threads of innovation, diplomacy and wisdom. Through his remarkable contributions to science, politics and society, Franklin has shown us the power of curiosity, the importance of education, and the value of striving for the common good. We hope this story has not only helped you learn English, but also inspired you to think deeply about the legacy we can each leave behind. We would love to hear your thoughts on this story. What lessons have you taken from the life of Benjamin Franklin? How has his story impacted your understanding of American history or the pursuit of knowledge? Please share your comments below, and if you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to press the like button to show your support. For those eager to explore more stories like this and continue improving your English, visit wooenglish.com. There, you'll find a collection of stories available for download in PDF format, catering to various interests and learning levels. Each story is designed to enrich your language skills and broaden your horizons. Thank you for joining us at Woo English. Your engagement and enthusiasm make this journey worthwhile. Remember, every story is an adventure, and every adventure is an opportunity to learn and grow. We look forward to sharing more stories with you. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of your imagination.